our lowest point, we are open to the greatest change. to save the city when I can't even learn airbending. I'm the worst avatar ever. I just feel alone. No, that's nonsense. You are amazing. Yeah, and remember, Aang hadn't mastered all the elements when he was battling the Fire Nation. He was just a little kid. And he wasn't alone. He had his friends to help him. Look, the arena might be shut down, but we're still a team. The new Team but, Avatar. We got your back, Korra. And we can save the city together. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we want to take out Kuvira's spirit weapon before it gets too close to the city. That sounds like a risk we don't need to take. The evacuation is on schedule, and General Iroh is getting his army in place. I know Iroh can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kuvira's army, but that weapon... It's too powerful! It can destroy the city! We can't let it get to our doorstep. We'll sneak behind enemy lines and disable the weapon. If it works, it'll even the playing field. But if you get caught... It's worth the risk. <gasps> Guys, I see something! Down there! Is that... Kuvira? She's already crossed into United Republic territory. She's a week early. This doesn't make sense. There aren't any train tracks this way. How are they transporting that super weapon of theirs? Apparently on a giant mecha suit! Did you know Kuvira was building that thing? Oh, did I forget to mention it? No, of course I didn't know! We came with Republic City's chief of police. She didn't want anyone to know she was here. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Lynn's here? Well, I would love to say hello. Wait, you two know each other? You're joking, right? Huh. Lynn never told you about me. No? Why would she? I'm Lynn's sister. I found out why you were so against coming here. Why didn't you ever tell me you had a sister? Half sister. Same mom, different dads. So what? We're blood, Lynn, and after 30 years, the least you could do is say hello. I have nothing to say to you. I'll deal with this guy! Disable the weapon!
Nice work. The outside may be platinum, but we can do a lot of damage in here. Let's begin your first lesson. Cora's gonna airbend! Cora's gonna airbend! What is that contraption? A time-honored tool that teaches the most fundamental aspect of airbending. Jinora, would you like to explain this exercise? The goal is to weave your way through the gates and make it to the other side without touching them. Seems easy enough. Jinora forgot to say you have to make it through while the gates are spinning. The key is to be like the leaf. Flow with the movement of the gates. You've transformed the world more in a few years than most avatars did during their lifetimes. But I feel like I've only just begun. There's so much more I want to learn and do. You don't know how happy I am to hear you so full of hope again. It's been a bit of a bumpy ride, huh? I've come to realize life is one big bumpy ride. I know I was in a pretty dark place after I was poisoned. But I finally understand why I had to go through all that. I needed to understand what true suffering was, so I could become more compassionate to others. Even to people like Kuvira. As you know, Future Industries is looking for a partner to handle our shipping. Sure! But first, you gotta check out my new venture. Moving pictures. Julie, do the thing! You're gonna love this! Mind-blowing, right? You may now... do the thing. Oh. You just make me so dang happy. <laughs> I'm a waterbender and a firebender. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm very confused right now. You're the avatar and I'm an idiot. Both are true. No way. The avatar. Grimatov! You were only up to my waist the last time we were together. Oh man. <laughs> This can't be happening! What, do you have to pee or something? <laughs> no! Well, now, maybe. You're my hero! My name is Bolin, I'm dating your granddaughter! I mean, kind of. I may have screwed that up, but that's why I'm here, and you're my hero! Oh, I said that! Can I have a hug, too? What's up with him? Hey, Cora. This is my daughter, Asami. It's lovely to meet you. Mako told me so much about you. Really? Because he hasn't mentioned you at all. How did you two meet? Asami crashed into him on her moped. What? Are you okay? I'm fine. More than fine. Mr. Sato agreed to sponsor our team. We're back in the tournament. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. Terrific. Wanna sit with me for a minute? I'm not ready to get back to the party just yet. I don't think I ever really apologized. For what? For being gone all that time. For not coming back sooner. You don't need to apologize for anything. I'm just so happy you're here now. I don't think I could have handled losing you and my father in the same day. I am so sorry about what happened. Thank you. I'm just glad I was able to forgive him. So, what now? Back to the dance floor? I'm kind of all danced out. Honestly, after everything that's happened the past few months, I could use a vacation. Let's do it. Let's go on a vacation, just the two of us. Anywhere you want. Really? Okay. I've always wanted to see what the spirit world's like. Sounds perfect. <laughs> 